Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will talk about growing Celosia. Celosia is a beautiful flowering plant and a very unique one. They're vibrant and they are quite different in their shape and structure. They are the members of Amaranth family and are also called wool flowers. They're very easy to grow plants and they're quite long lasting. I planted them first time in my garden. They were the first plants to flower and they are still looking great. They bloom very early and they keep your garden colorful continuously throughout the season. There are many varieties. So I have this variety with these upright cone shaped flowers. You will also find them in different shapes. One of the very common is this wavy shaped blooms and locally we call them morok full which means rooster flowers. You can guess why. The leaves of the plants are actually edible before they flower. After flowering they become bitter. They come in many colors and some varieties can get quite tall. According to your location, you can grow them as annuals or perennials. Here we can grow both varieties. They're also used as cut flowers and in decorations. This is a great plant if you are a beginner or don't have a lot of time to garden because they are extremely low maintenance plants, very hassle free, disease resistant and drought tolerant. These are sun loving plants, so grow them in full sunlight. You can give them 6 to 8 hours of direct sunlight for best results. Some varieties thrive in hot climates very well and in cooler climates they die in winter months. You can grow them from seeds or get a healthy sapling from a nursery. They can also be grown from cuttings. I have my plants in very small pots. In bigger pots they will grow better. You can choose an 8 inch pot for them. As for soil they need well draining soil. With your garden soil make some compost and bone dust and prepare the media. They can tolerate poor soil but clay or wet soil is not good for them. They're not very heavy feeders but in pot do feed them weekly with a light liquid fertilizer. I use mustard cake. Once a month you can add some slow release fertilizer and some compost. They won't need anything else. Be careful with watering. They don't like wet soil. They're quite drought tolerant plants. Water them regularly when the soil gets dry and maintain the minimum moisture throughout. I have not faced any pest problems in this plant. When the flowers dry up, you can remove them. You can also save the seeds when they get dry to grow them next season. This is a very low maintenance and carefree plant. I was never into them, but this year I planted them and I was quite happy. So I'm gonna plant them again. You can try them too. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you next time. Bye.